Hello everyone, Xeno Azuma here and welcome back to Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team DX. Last time we got through Labis Cave and got chased to Mount Blaze. This episode, it's time to trek Mount Blaze. Mount Blaze! Oh boy! I'm going to first talk about Mount Blaze before I start talking about what I talked about last episode. Mount Blaze got changed drastically in this game. Not... Not due to, not due to mu much else, however, it's more due to the Pokemon themselves. Not the Pokemon that have, they have, not that the Pokemon have changed, but more because they now have a new move. The move Incinerate, oh boy. The, the move incinerate makes this dungeon hell. It is really, really annoying to go through because the game really, really likes because the move burns the items and it does that a lot. Thankfully, there are a lot of items to get him on Blaze. To, well, usually there are. Apparently, I'm not getting that. So, in the original, since this run wasn't a thing, this dungeon wasn't too bad. It was a bit annoying, but it wasn't too bad. Especially if you if you're playing as Cubone, because Cubone made this dungeon trivial. Other Pokemon did too, mind you, not just Cubo, but this dungeon uh, literally got turned from into a dungeon that's not that bad to a dungeon that, oh god, you don't want, you want to try and make sure you don't go near any Pokemon unless you know you will be able to KO them. It does not help that a lot of Pokemon have the ability Flame Body, so getting burnt is basically guaranteed. We want to try and make sure that we don't go too close to Pokemon, because if we get too close, Incinerates, they're going to be a move that they, they could potentially use, and we don't want to deal with that. Honestly, like, I there's a later dungeon that also has Pokemon that I really love to use Incinerate, but honestly, I feel like this dungeon, while... I, well, I sort of get why they make give Pokemon Incinerate to basically be like, yeah, be careful, for well, you no longer can restock. But because of that being unable to restock reliably, I believe it made the dungeon not that fun. Granted, that's just my opinion, so take it with a grain of salt. But with that, range moves are your best friend and you want to try and make sure that you don't get cornered. This dungeon also has a midpoint, so yeah, we also don't need to worry. Which is actually why I've taken away the empowerment seek from our toolbox. Because once we get to the midpoint is what I'm going to be placing in. Sunny, I really like this because it means Solar Beam now it doesn't need to charge, which is something they don't tell you. But this is something that's unique to this game, to this, to these games. Sun Weather Vet is just part of the environment. Other games have hail, sandstorms, and 
Rain. Never had bright sun. Well, except in Hoenn, but I don't think that actually caused there to be bright sun. You guys know what point I'm talking about. But I'm curious if they redid Emerald, what that weather vet, the weather vet off ground and Kyogo going out troll, what would it be if it was just one? Anyways, Ivory's going to be carrying us, but also going to be a detriment. But now. Oh. But now I can at least talk about what I was wanting to talk about before. Which is this game. This part of the game. I had the mo this part of the game impacted me a lot as a kid. Don't know why I struggled to say kid. I did struggle to say kid. Don't ask why I did, but I don't know. I just don't know why. And there's still being just not needing to charge anymore. But this part of the game impacted me a lot because as a kid I didn't have many friends and the few friends I did have, well they didn't try and stay near me because of how I was. Not saying I was a bad kid but I wouldn't say I was the best kid because I was unable to control my emotions, I lashed out a lot because people making fun of me. And granted, while I can see the cause is my autism, it is not an excuse. It is the cause, but it is what basically had me struggle with, with things other than those kids that actually bullied me. So this point really made me feel I was alone. Like, Pokemon Dungeon was an escape for me. And then this happened, and oh boy, it was an escape no longer. But that's, but that's why I think it was actually quite an effective tip teacher of just effective, as effective as it was. Of course, it also taught me some other things. We'll get to that in the next dungeon. But I also... Oh my god. Uh, I'm blanking what I was going to talk, what I was going to say now because these Pokemon are actually really annoying me. Uh, but yeah, because of how... Oh my god, I forgot I had Hurricane. And this is why the Tiny Reviver Seeds are very useful. Oh, we don't have... Else, I was hoping to try and get to the midpoint before now, but this would have happened. Uh, but yeah, because of that, I honestly had. I think the story. Because of this, I, the story really hit me. Because of my childhood, the story hit me quite a bit and actually made me feel quite alone. Because I went from going to having a gigantic rescue team and having a lot of allies, because I'll be honest, I was terrible at the game and ended up just recruiting a lot of Pokemon to basically help out with dungeons because I literally could not beat dungeons. Seriously, Sinister Woods was 
one of my beans in my existence. This is for as a kid. Then going from that to Lapis Cave and then this with only two party members. It was a really hard hitting moment. And honestly, it stuck with me. Of course, once we get to a later point, you'll also see why another reason why this area, this whole, this whole arc actually stuck with me. But we won't be getting to that until the next episode. Of course, this game is we oddly the case of being the outlier of the franchise now that I think about it, because while there are moments where you're alone in those games, uh, it's not like this. And there's Incinerate! And it burned up a plane seat! Oh my god, I've never been that lucky. Yeah, Incinerate makes this dungeon just much more pain. I almost said a chore. No, it doesn't because it doesn't change how how hard this dungeon is if it on its on its own. It just makes you have to just be a bit more cautious. Don't want to use anything. This is actually kind of useful. Oh, grimy food. Okay, I might as well talk about the grimy food before. Because I basically have talked about it. And all I'd be going on is more exacts. So I might as well just talk about... Grimy food. Grimy food sucks. You should only eat it if you really need to. And there's a trap that makes your items become grimy food. It's... It's effective. I'll say that. So I can't say it's a bad trap. Because it really does, its jo does the job of what it needs to do. Effective. <sighs> I'll buff up. Slower beam because we really do need range. Uh, but anyways, oh great! Yeah, at this point we started getting into kind of powerful Pokemon now, so, uh, though it does mean, yep, we're at the midpoint. Okay, we're going to actually deposit, de de deposit, deposit the grimy food, because the grimy food does not have any use. I'm going to now withdraw one of our empowerment seeds. You'll see why later. 
No, we do want to go on. Okay. So now... Move settings. Ivory. I don't want her to use that for a while. We honestly don't want her to be using many of her moves for a while. But we want to try and find the exit as soon as possible. A Rossberry could be useful, but honestly, we're just going to be finding the exit every time. Getting as much money as we can is also going to be kind of useful. Not as useful as you're probably thinking, but still going to be kind of useful. We want to try and at least level up decent a decent amount, but not too much. Really? Okay. And we're at the top. Is this it? Is this Mount Blaze's summit? Wow, this is incredible. I know it's a volcano, but the lava flow is much higher than normal. Yes, plus there's those, those lava geysers. There's, that are honestly really nice touches. This might also have a link to the natural calamities. Ugh, it's like a furnace. I'm getting roasted. Really not good for you. I don't want to spend any time in a place this dangerous. Let's get through this quick. Halt. Huh? What? Suddenly turned dark. I can hear the mountain screams. It is shrieking in pain. Someone is causing Mount Blaze to arrive in agony. Is it you? Huh? What's wrong? That's wrong. We're innocent. We're just passing through. The mountain's rage is my rage. I am Moltres, the warrior of fire I am. There is no forgiving those who befoul the mountain. On guard. We're fighting another legendary bird, Moltres. It's honestly a really, really annoying fight. Unless you have a way to just poison him and use like a rock type move. Then he becomes a joke. This fight is a pain in the original games. But in this game, it's not that bad. Speaking of, let us give Ivory the empowerment seed. She got awakened status. If you remember, if you played Pokemon Super Mission Dungeon, Awaken status was, some, was something in that game. The Pokemon has awakened and is powered up. Link moves always result in critical hits and the damage they deal ignores abilities and unfavored ma type matchups. Some Pokemon also Mega Evolve. So I'm actually going to hit you with a slow wand and allow basically Ivory to do the whole fight. Oh 
Oh my god, this is really good. And now you guys see why I brought these along. Uh, I don't have any reviver seats. And Ivory is boosting up more. And we won. Not that hard of a fight, but if you're going for grass type and you don't have a rock type move, you're gonna be struggling. Ugh. I'm not done yet. I'm not finished yet. Wait. Please listen, we're not here to cause any trouble. We were chased to this mountain. You should know this mountain isn't the only place that is suffering. It's a volcano, not a mountain, first of all. Natural calamities are happening in all sorts of places. We can't do anything. We're fugitives now. But we want to help Pokemon in these times of natural disasters. Do you say that sincerely? It's true. Please believe me. If you think I'm lying, please look at my eyes. This is hilarious when you, when it's Cyndaquil. <laughs> I, I, I will always laugh at when it's Cyndaquil saying this. Fine. I trust you. I trust that you aren't lying. Whew. Oh my gosh. I thought my knees turned to jelly. You may pass. Get through Mount Blaze. And promise me this. Promise me that you will find the cause of the calamities that rack our world. Stop. Disaster showing more destruction and suffering. Okay, I promise. Of course, that's not possible right now, but... <laughs> we will. We will do it as soon as we can. We're being chased, so we can't get on it right away. But we're a rescue team. We'll get to the bottom of what's causing the natural calamities. I promise. I will hold you to that promise. You made me believe that you will honor it, as long as you do not forget the courage you showed in facing me. Ah, is there anything else? No, I was only preparing to take off. Oh, does it need to do that? Farewell. Oh, you. That uh, was scary. But it was really great when Moltres understood us. I mean, understood you. Anyway, we should get off Mount Blaze too. Jesus. Thunder. We walked a lot, didn't we? I'm tired. Let's get a little rest. The view's fantastic. Oh look, Zeno, look over there. See how small Mount Blaze looks from here? Still looks gigantic. We've come a really long way, haven't we? Um, Zeno, wasn't it hard getting over Mount Blaze? I doubt the main Pokemon would be able to get through it. 
and it wasn't easy coming this far after that mountain. Do you want to know what I think? Do you think maybe that no Pokemon will be able to get us here? Some still could. Oh, there's still Pokemon that could get to us? Well, who do you mean? Alakazam, Charizard, Tyranitar, Team Act. Oh, I get it. There's Alakazam. You're right. Alakazam's team should be able to get here. Yep, we don't have a choice. We have to keep going. I think we need to go somewhere no one else can get to. Let's be positive and keep moving. Oh? What's wrong? Aren't we going, Zeno? Pardon? Am I tired? They're trying to catch us. We don't have time to rest. And remember what I said? I said I would go with you, Zeno. Oh, please. Don't look like that. Honest, I'm fine. Let's go, Zeno. I'll always stick with you. And so, Zeno's journey, harrowing journey, continued. Seeking refuge in even harsher places. They fled north. They crossed row upon row of mountains. Forded fetid swamps. And scaled frozen cliffs. Till finally, Zeno's tiny team arrived in a world of snow. A frigid wasteland of driving blizzards. But it's cold. <laughs> Yuck. My nose is running and it's freezing. What nose? Isn't this one lonely place? See how deep the snow is? I haven't seen any of our Pokemon for a while either. Maybe we're all alone here. Oh, what's the matter? What's that? What was that? It looked like a Pokemon, but... Did I imagine that? No, I don't think so. I'm sure there was someone, somebody there. I wonder what they were doing in this lonely place. I guess thinking about it won't help us. We should keep moving. Oh, Zeno, look, see that? Those trees are frozen. Wow, the snow is like frozen powder. It looks pretty, but it must be harsh in there. Okay, we don't have a choice. We have to get through this place. It'll be horribly cold. I'd rather not go if I didn't have to. But hiding out here in this area isn't the answer either. We can only go forward. We'll just have to keep our spirits up and keep going, Zeno. Next time on Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team DX, we will go through this frozen forest. This is... going to be tough. And this is Zeno and Azuma, the fugitive, signing out.